Hello students, so uh, continuing further with the chapter, so we had been studying about the five kingdom classification given by R. H. Whitaker. So we have Monera, Protista, Fungi, Plants and Animals, right? Now we shall study each one of them in details, okay? So starting with Kingdom Monera, okay? Let's uh, please refer to page number 23 of your book. Let's read uh, the lines one by one so it will become easy for you all to understand. Okay, Kingdom Monera, they are unicellular, that is the entire body is made up of a single cell. So, number one is unicellular, that is each of these Monera organisms under Kingdom Monera are made up of only one cell. Done. The cells lack a well-defined nucleus. The genetic material in the cell lies in the cytoplasm. So, this kingdom monera, they lack or they do not have, do not have a well-defined, a well-defined nucleus, okay? What is the role of a nucleus? Nucleus is like the master control, like the brain is there in our body. Similarly, nucleus is also uh, the master control of any organism okay present uh, specifically if you say about kingdom monera so these organisms they do not have this nucleus but then nucleus also carries what they carry our information all sorts of information of the living organism nucleus carries then if the nucleus is not present then where does the information get stored in kingdom monera well they remain suspended all the information which is present in the genetic uh, genetic i mean in the genes they remain suspended in this yellow fluid which is called the cytoplasm it keeps floating okay the genetic material the genetic material consists of the information of the organism so they keep floating in the cytoplasm Otherwise, it should have been inside the nucleus. The nucleus contains all sorts of information, okay, genetic material, it has DNA, everything it contains there. But when this organism, they don't have any nucleus, then that information keeps on floating in the form of genetic material, keeps on floating in this cytoplasm. Understood? Next, these cell walls have a uh, cell, the cells have a cell wall as an outer covering. Okay, so each of these monerans, they have a cell wall is present. Some organisms in this kingdom are autotrophic, that is they can prepare their own food. So, some, not all, some are autotrophic. What example is given here? Blue, green algae, I am writing it in short form. Okay, so blue, green algae are part of the monera, are part of kingdom monera who can prepare their own food, okay. And other, this one you can see, this one blue green algae in the form of green. And also there are certain organisms under kingdom monera who cannot prepare their own food and so they are heterotrophic. They are heterotrophic, that is, depends on others to obtain their food. And who are they? They are the E. coli. E. coli, these are bacteria. E. coli is a bacteria. Okay, this E. coli is present in the intestine. In all our intestine, human intestine. Uh, these are good bacteria, actually, you can say good bacteria but certain E. coli also forms as bad bacteria. I am not going so much into these details, I am just giving you a rough information. So E. coli are those bacteria, okay, those organisms or microorganisms in the kingdom Monera who cannot prepare their own food, they are heterotrophic. They depend on other organisms to obtain their food, to obtain their nourishment. And blue-green algae are those organisms under kingdom Monera who can prepare their own food. They are autotrophic. Okay. Next, we go to see bacteria are grouped under this kingdom and have different shapes. These are all different shapes of 
bacteria all right these are all the different shapes of bacteria some are long and rod like which is the bacillus where do we have bacilla bacillus bacillus mm -mm -mm -mm. this one bacillus okay so these are a bit long and rod they should have been elongated a bit further but anyway it's okay so these are long and rod shaped which is called the bacilli okay some are spherical 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 which is the cocci shape yes you can see these are sphere shape round shape so this is the coccus or cocci some are spiral so you can see this is in the form of a spiral in this way spiral okay spirilla or spirilla and some are comma shaped you see this is sort of like a comma comma is like what in this way this is comma isn't it so this is also sort of like comma shaped structure and so this is vibrio remember this thing whatever is there in your book you have to remember you can ignore all this no need to uh, study as in class 7 i could not find any a simple picture so i used this but for your exam you will need cocci cocci means round shape bacillus means long and rod shape spiral means spirilla means spiral shaped and comma shaped are vibrio understood this these only this four you have to remember and then some monerans have whip like structure this is a whip like structure whip like structure which is called the flagella which is called the flagella and with the help of this flagella this organism keeps on moving ahead keeps on moving ahead okay it keeps on moving and so uh, those who do not have this flagella they cannot move they just remain stagnant in one place and those organisms or monerans who have this whip like structure which is called the flagella they can keep on moving from one place to another so this is all about your kingdom monera i hope you have understood it if not please rewatch this video all right thank you